Hi children welcome you all to this session today we are going to start exercise 2b you can take page number 32 in your textbook and you can take a pencil with you so you can write the answers in exercise 2b in the textbook itself okay children in the last class we have discussed about the properties of addition do you remember that in page number 32 yes the same thing i'm just going to recall it again for the purpose of doing exercise 2b okay now what is the first property a zero added to a number does not change the value of a number if i am adding any number with zero i will get the same number that is what our first rule okay what is your second rule one added to a number you will get its successor what is the second rule if i add one to that particular number i will get the successor of that number usually if you want to find the successor what you will do you will add one to that number what is the third property if there if there are two numbers you can either add like a 5 plus 2 or 2 plus 5 like that any order you can add it so that if there is a two numbers you can add that numbers in any order okay if you add in either ways you will get the same answer fourth question if there are three or three or more numbers you can add it in any order if there is two numbers also you can add it in any order two or more numbers also you can add it any order but usually you will get the same answer okay that is what our property given so based upon this property only we are going to solve the exercise 2b okay children I hope you have taken your page number thirty-two, exercise two B. What is the question? Fill in the missing numbers or words. Try to solve it mentally. We are going to fill in the blanks, and how you are going to solve this? You are going to solve it mentally. Okay. Now, what is the first question? Four thousand three hundred and sixty-four plus dash. Gives four thousand three hundred and sixty-four. So what they have saying? If I number, if I am adding four thousand three hundred and sixty-four plus some number, I am getting the same number. So what this answer will be? By property number one, if I add any number with zero, I will get the same number, right? So four thousand three hundred and sixty-four. Plus zero, I am getting four thousand three hundred and sixty-four. Now, second question. What is the second question? Dash plus zero will give nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight. So, if I add what number with zero, I will get the nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight. Nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight. If I add with zero, I will get nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight. So like this, you should think and you should answer. Okay, so I just added nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight plus zero. I am getting nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight. Now eighty-six thousand seven hundred and eighty-nine plus zero. What is our answer? Any number plus zero is the same number, right? So eighty six thousand seven hundred and eighty nine. Eighty six thousand seven hundred and eighty nine. Now, what is the fourth question? Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine plus one. You have seen this plus one in many places, right? What is the actual meaning is? Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine plus one means here. What we are doing? We are going to find the successor. Okay, successor of a greatest four-digit number is what? Smallest five-digit number. Okay, successor of a greatest four-digit number is smallest five-digit number. You can add and see. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine plus one. Nine plus one ten one. Nine plus one ten one. Plus one ten one. Nine plus one ten. So what you are getting? One two three four five. So you are getting smallest five digit number. 
Now, eighty-four thousand three hundred and eighty plus dash gives eighty-four thousand four hundred. Okay, now three hundred and eighty is there. If you add with this what value, you will get eighty eighty-four thousand four hundred. Just think, it, children. Eighty-four thousand three eighty is there, ah? Huh? Eighty-four thousand four hundred you are getting. Apa three eighty ka four hundred ka what is the difference? Twenty. So if I add twenty, just twenty to this value, I will get eighty-four thousand four hundred. Like this, you should even think mentally. You should even think by yourself. Okay? Shall I uh, prove that and show you? Eight four three eight zero. Plus twenty, zero plus zero zero, eight plus two, ten zero one, three plus one four four eight. So what is the answer? Eighty four thousand four hundred. So if I have eighty four thousand three hundred eighty plus twenty, what you will get? Eighty four thousand four hundred. Now one thousand six hundred and seventy six plus three hundred. One thousand six hundred and seventy-six plus three hundred. What you will do? You should add it uh, in your mind and see, children. Actually, what I'm get zero plus six. Like that only just come now. Zero six plus zero. Seven plus zero seven. Six plus three nine. One as such. Listen, but how I have added? I'll teach you. Okay. Usually, how I will write this number. One six seven six first number second number I will write zero zero three right. Apo six plus zero six seven plus zero seven six plus three nine one. So I have written directly how means always this corner digit and this corner digit will be added six plus zero six. Next digit is seven zero seven plus zero seven. Next six. Three six plus three nine. So this is only one thing here. No other digit is there. So I am writing the one as such. Did you understand how I have written this? Yes. Now eight hundred and eleven plus nine. Okay. What I just doing is eight hundred and eleven plus nine. So how we will add it? Usually I have taught you know last digit and this last digit. One plus nine ten. Upper zero. Carry over one zero. Carry over one. One plus one two. Here no digit is there, so two. Eight no digit is there. Eight twenty. So shall I prove this and show you how I have written that? Yes. Eight hundred and eleven plus nine. One plus nine ten. One one plus one two. Eight eight twenty. Listen, children. This corner digit and this corner digit. One plus nine. Ten. Apa zero. One carry over. One plus one two. I wrote eight. I wrote. Okay. Did you understand how I have written this? This is how you should add it, and you can you have to check and see. Okay. Next. Ninety nine plus one hundred and thirty nine plus one. Okay. I'll teach you one easiest method. Okay. Ninety nine plus one is what? Hundred, right? Hundred plus one hundred and thirty nine is what? Two hundred and thirty nine. How listen? How it is possible means ninety nine. Easiest way. You should only think the easiest way. We can uh, like uh, everyone should think by yourselves. Okay? Ninety nine plus one hundred. Hundred plus one thirty nine is what? Nine. Three one plus one two, so two hundred and thirty nine. Or you can add this as usual and see. Okay, ninety nine, one thirty nine, one. Ninety nine, one thirty nine, one. This three you are going to add it. Nine plus one nine, eighteen. Eighteen plus one, nineteen. Nine one carry over. Nine plus one, ten. Ten plus three. Thirteen three one carry over one plus one two. Whether you are getting through thirty nine as answer, whether you are getting the answer, 
239. Yes. So, the easiest way is what? 99 plus 100. I told you, you know, we can add in any order. So, I am adding first to these two digits. With that answer, I am going to add this. Okay. You can add it in any order. That, that There is no problem in that. Okay, children. Next is your ninth question. What is the ninth question? 922 plus 18 plus 100. 922 plus 18 plus 100. I told you we can add it in any order, right? So, I shall add these two first. Yes, 922 plus 18. 8 plus 2, 10. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 940. What is the answer you are getting? 940. Then plus 100. 0 plus 0, 0. 4 plus 0, 4. 9 plus 1, 10. So what is the answer? 1040. What is the answer? 1040. Listen children. First, I told you we can all add it in any order. So, what I just done is 922 plus 18 I have done. See, last digit and last digit. 8 plus 2, 10 upon 0, 1 reminder. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. Okay, then 9 as such. Because this single digit, so I wrote. 940 plus 100, 1040. Okay, like this also you can write it. Okay, next step. 10th question. 7264 plus dash 829 plus 7264. Actually, we are going to fill this box. I told you 5 plus 2 also same. 2 plus 5 also same. The same method we are going to do here also. What this means? 7264 plus 829 also correct. 829 plus 7264 also correct. Okay, this is what the rule children kindly note it down. Okay, 7264 plus 829 is equal to 829 plus 7264. Understood? Next, what is the 11th question? The sum of the greatest 5 digit number and 1 is equal to what? Okay, what we are just going to do? We are going to do the sum of greatest 5 digit number and 1. What is the greatest 5 digit number? 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Plus 1. Greatest 5 digit number plus 1. So, what I will get? I will get smallest 6 digit number. What I will get? Smallest 6 digit number. Or you can write like this. Smallest 6 digit Number. Okay. Actually if I am adding a greatest 5 digit number plus 1 I will get smaller 6 digit number. Just keep it in your mind while you are doing the calculations. Okay. Next. 12th question. What is the 12th question? 8649 plus 98745 equal to 98745 plus dash. So this type of this problem and this problem is more or less the same. If I add in any order that gives the same meaning. Okay, so 8649 plus 9,875 uh, 9, 9, 9, equal to 98745 plus 8649. So if you add in any order, so this comes here, this comes here. So both are the same. Both gives what meaning? Same meaning. Okay, now. 310 plus 981 plus 309. Okay. 310 plus 981 plus 309 is equal to 981 plus 309 plus dash. We are going to find the unknown value. Okay. So, already 981 is there. 309 is there. So, what is missing? 310. So, 300. So, I told you if you add in any order also, you will get the same answer. Okay. Next. 
the successor of 3899 is successor means what we are going to find the next number so plus 1 3899 plus 1 so 9 plus 1 10 9 plus uh, 1 10 1 8 plus 1 9 3 so what is the answer 3900 so you can add and see children successor means what you will do you can add 3899 plus 1 9 plus 1 10 1 9 plus 1 10 1 8 plus 1 9 3 so 3900 is the successor for this value the answer of a addition operation is called dash so answer you will add two numbers right if a 5 plus 2 answer is what 7 that 7 is what sum answer which you are getting is called as sum what is called as sum the number which are being added are called as addends okay so listen children answers of an addition operation answer you are getting right when you are adding you will get one answer no that answer is called as sum and two numbers you will add no that numbers is called as addends okay did you understand all this 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 problem is fully based upon those properties once you read the property then if you do it you will get a clear idea about it okay children today's class we have discussed exercise 2b you have to write all the answers in your textbook itself children using a pencil i hope you all understood thank you